What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're doing week 11 predictions for the 2016 through 2017 NFL season. Last week I went where I go last week. I went 9 and 5 last week. It seems like I'm always going 9 and 5. I've been going 9 and 5 these past few weeks at or 9 and 4. So I need to hit double digits and I'm still at 62%. This is straight up. Still at 62%. I can't shake it, but I got it. It seems like the 68, the 68 percentage, uh, or the 70 percentage is uh, unreachable now. But yeah, I've been, I've been, I've been sucking these past few games. So we'll see what happens. So, um, against the spread, I went eight and six. Not bad. That brings me up to a 71, 73, and three record. Below 500, so still not good, but whatever. So, Thursday Night Football. Saints at the Panthers. This one is pretty hard for me to predict. I don't know. Like, I don't know. The Saints almost had, I mean, they could have won that game against the Broncos. Um, it's very debatable if, if that safety parks stepped out of bounds on that extra point return. I think he did, but, I mean... It, it stands as called. I mean, they lost that game. So, they had a chance against the Broncos. The Broncos are a very good team. And then you got the Panthers, who are, you know, a has-been team. And they put up a lot of points on them before. They played before at the Saints' home in the Dome. And I think the Pan I don't think the Saints are going to sweep the Panthers. I think the Panthers are a little better than that. So, I'll take the Panthers winning this game, but I'll take... New Orleans covering the three and a half point spread. So I'll take the Panthers 34 to 31. Take New Orleans 30. Uh, take New Orleans plus three and a half. My first lock of the week Bears at the Giants. The Giants are due for a blowout game. Not getting blown out, but I think we already had that. But the Giants are due for a game where they blow out a team. And I think it happens here. You guys saw that Alshon Jeffrey recently just got suspended four games. So who does that leave Jay Cutler with? He doesn't have a very good tight end weapon because Martellus Bennett is gone. Alshon Jeffrey is now gone. Matt Forte gone. And I just don't I just don't think I mean Jeremy Langford is a pretty good running back, so I like him. But then you, their wide receivers, I mean who who's gonna who is their wide receiver that's really gonna make a big threat? Like Cameron Meredith? Like come on. Against Jordan, uh, against Janoris Jenkins and Dominic Rogers Camardi and Eli Apple, I just don't see it. I don't see the Bears scoring much points. I don't see them moving the ball down the field very much, except by the running game. Their running game and Jordan Howard, he's a very good running back. So we'll see what happens with Jeremy Langford and, and Jordan um, Jordan Howard. That one-two punch could hurt us a bit, but I just don't see the Bears doing anything in the air. It's Jay Cutler we're talking about, but um, yeah. The spread is set at 7 in the Giants' favor. I'm going to take the 7-point spread, minus 7 for the Giants. I'll take the Giants 31-16. to 16. I think we finally score 30 this, this, uh, this game here for the first time this year. Next up, Steelers at the Browns. <laughs> yeah, the Browns are going to lose every single game. I know the Steelers lost against the Dallas Cowboys, but they almost they almost won that game against a very good Dallas Cowboys team. So I think the Steelers aren't as bad as the people are saying they are. They did struggle early in the early in that game last week, but they're not going to struggle against the Browns here. I'll take the Steelers 30 to 10. Take Pittsburgh minus eight. It's a pretty big spread, but it's the Browns. So my second lock of the week, Ravens at the Cowboys. Listen, the Cowboys are probably not going to lose another game this year. I mean, I don't see anybody that's contending with them to, to, to you know, beat them. They might go 15-1. and one, But, yeah, they're, they're beating the Ravens here. I don't think the Ravens are going to compete. So, I'll take the Cowboys. Minus 7, 26-17 is the final score. Jaguars at the Lions. I like the Lions. They're coming off the bye. Uh, Jaguars are... Are they coming off the bye as well? Who do they face off against? Oh, they just lost to Houston, and it was a pretty tight game. But I'm gonna, I gotta take the Lions here. I just don't think it's gonna be a huge blowout win. I, I think they'll still cover the spread, 
Uh, they have a six and a half point spread. I think they'll cover the spread. I just don't think it's going to be a huge blowout game. I think the Jaguars are going to compete a little bit, a tiny bit. I don't think it's going to be a high scoring game from the Lions. So I'll take the Lions 24 to 14. It's a 10 point margin, but I just don't think the Lions, like I think I think everybody's going to predict them to score like 30, 30 or more points. But I think I think the Lions, will, they're not going to score too many points. So 24 to 14 sounds right to me. Lions at um, Titans at the Colts. Listen, the Colts have had the Titans number for a long time, but you guys see in the past five games since Marcus Mariota has been around, these games have been tight. There has not been a blowout win from the from the Colts yet, and they all have been high scoring, all of them. But I think the Titans finally get their win here against the Indianapolis Colts. I know the Colts are coming off the bye, but the Titans are coming off a red hot win against the Green Bay Packers. Say what you want about the Packers' defense. It is hard to score 40 or more points in the NFL. They almost put up a 50-burger on the Green Bay Packers. And that's not a, it's not a terrible defense. The Packers' defense is not a terrible one. I think the Marcus Mariota in this offense is starting to figure things out as far as they have one of the best balanced offenses I've ever seen. They can throw the ball when they want to. They have a dual-threat quarterback, and they can run the ball when they want to. So as far and and their offensive line opposes, I mean, just demolishes everybody, all defensive ends, all defensive linemen that they play. Their offensive line is pretty pretty potent. So I like the Titans here to win this game, thirty four to thirty. Take Tennessee plus three. They are not favored in this game, They're deservingly so. But I I just think I just think the Titans have a good shot at winning this game. The winner will have over thirty points. I guarantee that. Okay, so for my first upset, well, my only upset of the week, my upset uh, pick of the week, Bills at the Bengals. The Bengals are favored, minus three. I'm going to take the Buffalo Bills coming off the bye, plus three. I just like I just like the Bengals. I mean, I just like the Bills in this situation. I don't think, I mean, the Bengals are, are ranked 25th in the league in total defense right now. And I think when the Bills want to, they could tear you up as far as yardage. Uh, they have a great running game with Sean McCoy and uh, Mike Gisley, I believe his name is. They have a good running game over there. And if you thought the Giants could run, the Giants came into that game last night, the worst running game in the NFL, and they rushed for over 100 yards. Think about the Bills, who are a run-first team. So we'll see what happens there. But I think the Bills are just going to shred the Bengals as far as running the ball. And I think the defense is not going to be able um, to stop uh LaShawn McCoy and Tyrod Taylor. So I'm gonna take the Bills 24 to 21 in an upset. Take Buffalo plus three. Buccaneers at the Chiefs. The Chiefs didn't really do anything last week to say, oh wow, they're really gonna win this game against the Buccaneers. I think the Buccaneers can compete, if not win this game. But I'm gonna take the Chiefs here just to be safe. Uh I think it's a safe pick here. But I think Tampa Bay is definitely going to compete. That 7.5-point spread that the Chiefs have, it, I don't think that's going to happen. I'll take Tampa Bay plus 7.5. 24-20 is my final prediction. Cardinals at the Vikings. Wow, this is the game of the has-beens right here. I mean, Cardinals and the Vikings, these two teams, I think a lot of people had in the NFC Championship game or could have been in the NFC Championship game. But they they might be both of these teams might be in a top fifteen in the draft, so I'm gonna take the Cardinals either way. It's a pick'em game. I'll take the Cardinals in the pick'em game, twenty to sixteen. Not very high scoring, and yeah, twenty to sixteen. Dolphins at the Rams. Now I just got word. Well, not I just got. Well, I mean everybody just got word that. Jared Goff is now the starting quarterback for the Los Angeles Rams. I don't think that's going to be a huge difference. I think it's going to be better because I think Case Keenum is probably the worst quarterback in the NFL right now. I don't like him at all. Um, so we'll see what happens. Jared Goff did not do well in the preseason. But then again, the preseason is the preseason. But he just didn't do well in the preseason at all. And he was not impressive and did not live up to the hype of the, the number one draft pick you know, over Dak Prescott, over Carson Wentz, who both these quarterbacks are having a great year right now. So we'll see what happens, but I don't think it's going to be make much of a difference. And I think the Dolphins are really starting to get it going as far as offensively. Uh, the defensive, uh, defense is pretty good, but 
I think their offense is what carries them. I'll take the Dolphins 23-17. to Miami minus one. My third and final lock of the week, Patriots at the 49ers. Man, this is just going to be a stomping. This is going to be a pick-me-up game for the Patriots losing to the Seattle Seahawks. Uh, the spread is at 13. I'll take it, though, because the 49ers, I don't think they're going to compete. I know the Patriots' defense isn't anything to be scared of, as the, the Seahawks demonstrated Sunday night. But the 49ers, I just don't think they have any weapons to compete against the, the Patriots. It's just not going to happen. Um, so I'll take the Patriots minus 13 in a lock, 44 to 9. I don't think the the 49ers are going to score a touchdown. So 44 to 9. Yeah, Eagles at the Seahawks. Man, whoo! This is a hard game to pick because I mean the Seahawks, the Seahawks, some they they've been getting exposed. They've been, they've really been getting exposed, but they're really picking it up now. Russell Wilson is completely healthy. He showed that Sunday night. He's really playing very good football. And, I mean, he's really one of my favorite quarterbacks in the league as far as how he plays, how athletic he is. I mean, he runs like a wide receiver. And so, yeah. But the Eagles, the Eagles can really, I mean, it's these great teams that they're beating. It really is. I mean, they lost against the Giants. They lost against, um, who else? They lost against the Lions. They lost against the... Uh, Redskins, I mean, it's these great teams that they're beating, like um, like the Steelers, like the Minnesota Vikings, who are now showing to be not very much of a good team anymore, but at the time was a very good team. So we'll see what happens. I think it's going to be a close game. I don't like how Seattle is favored by a whole six and a half points. I'm going to say that the Seahawks win, but just barely. I, I'm taking the safe pick here. I don't, I mean, the Seahawks just beat the big bad Patriots, so I don't see a reason for me not to, you know, pick them to win here, but I think the Eagles could easily win this game if they wanted to. They just got to show up. So I'll take the Seahawks 27 to 26. I'll take Philadelphia plus six and a half. Packers at the Redskins. The Packers, oh man, they're just, that's an ugly team to think about now. I mean, Mike McCarthy, if I guarantee, all right, the Titans, the Titans were coming in as probably the wor- one of the worst teams in the NFL. They were they're mediocre, but they just they're not exactly mediocre at the time, but they were you know pretty mediocre. So the fact that you got demolished, forty seven points to the Titans, tells me that the Redskins are are gonna win this game. They're gonna win this game. It it's not gonna be a high scoring like probably everybody's gonna say it is. Uh, I think the Redskins are pretty good on offense, but I just don't think they're going to score too much points here. Maybe they will, but I'll take the Redskins minus 2.5. 20-14 is what I predict. Uh, yeah, the Redskins are just going to get an easy win here. The Packers are just not good anymore, and that's just that's saying a lot because it's Aaron Rodgers. He's probably one of the best quarterbacks in the league, but he just doesn't have anything around him at all. And Mike McCarthy should... Should the Redskins win against the Packers, Mike McCarthy's job is, that's it. He's over. He's done. So, uh, and then Monday Night Football, I'm excited about this one. Texans at the Raiders. And the think about it, guys. This is, you know, the Raiders, it's technically a home game for them. But they're in Mexico right now. And who is probably the best road team in the NFL right now? It's the Raiders. And the Texans can't face very good teams. And when they can't face elite defenses, the, the Raiders have a bad defense, but it's the Raiders. I, I think they're really going to win this game, and it's going to be a concerning win. Uh, it's going to be a win that it will shut all the doubters up about you know the Raiders having a fluke season. So I, I think the Raiders are going to make a, a statement here. 31-23, to 23, I'll take the Oakland Raiders minus 5.5 in primetime. Derek Carr is playing like he's an MVP right now. I'm ex- I love the way he plays. So we'll see how the Raiders do against the Texans. So that's all I got for you guys today. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And one question. I hope you guys are watching all the way to the end. 
one question I have for you guys. Do you guys want me to want me to do reviews in this video? I know it will make the video extremely long because I, I talk a lot. You guys know I talk a lot. And if we talk football face to face, I, I wouldn't be able to stop talking. But if if you guys want me to review the games that happened the week before, let me know. Or do you guys want me to keep it the same thing and just doing the predictions? And if you guys really want to talk about a game that we just put it in the comment section below. So let me know what you guys think. And yeah, that's it. I'll see you guys in the next video.